Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for Pisces. Um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. First, let's see what's going on with you today. What kind of energies are in your life, in your forecast. Hope you're having a beautiful uh, beginning of two year week. On the split, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Justice card. Um, this could talk about, you know, money being owed or due, you know, um, contracts that need to be paid out. Um, it also could talk about like, um, like retribution for significant loss or abandonment or rejection. We have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands reversed. This is talking about love and relationship. You know, whether it's platonic or romantic, just friendship, love, whatever. Um, and then we have the Ten of wands reverse this is when we're kind of like um usually this is my quitting card like you know when the ten of wands is upright it's like something's a big burden to carry it's heavy it takes a lot of effort just a lot of responsibility it's back breaking work so when it's reversed it's kind of like when you're walking away from that work um it's a 10 it's an ending so uh, maybe a relationship is just kind of tied to you quitting something or um, maybe a person that you're connected to is quitting something. Maybe you're dropping the burdens and responsibilities within a relationship. So we have the chariot. We have the devil. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Six of Cups. In the future is the world. They're all reversed. Oh my gosh. We have the, representing you is the Knight of Cups. Here's the Queen of Swords and the Environment. We have the Five of Pentacles in your uh, emotions and the outcome is the king of cups interesting there's like an emotional understanding here that there's no more fulfillment or reward or sense of belonging to a family, a relationship, a community, um, a love. It's like you're, you're, uh, emotional capacity to feel anything for this long-standing relationship is over. You've got nostalgia, you've got good feelings in the past, you know, there's those memories you can hold on to, but since the past, it's been um, breaking down, and it's broken down completely. You didn't expect it to go this way. You didn't realize that things were so negative until you, the situation proved itself to be so negative, and there's truly just no desire to pick it back up again. Like, this is a situation where there was actually no closure as well in this family dynamic, friendship dynamic, or relationship dynamic thing. You know, um, no closure, and that's okay because you, you have enough... You have enough emotional understanding in the situation to know that you know you've got to move forward anyway 
I mean, the King of Cups is the outcome. It's one of those special King of Cups cards where instead of him being in a throne in the middle of the ocean, he's in a boat, you know? He's going to his happy place to go fishing. And uh, you're off to more abundant places. Like, the only two upright cards in your deck you know, besides the Six of Cups in the past, is this King of Cups being like, oh God, I know that I don't belong in a certain place. I'm going to go fulfill myself where there's lots of fish to fish, you know? Lots of bounty. So that's what I'm getting anyway. Um, bills might be overdue. There might be an IOU here going on. Someone may owe something, somebody something. There could be uh, karma that has to play out but you don't have to you don't have to be there for it all you know you don't have to stick around for it either you can have another life of fulfillment without having to wait for a situation to complete itself and that's the justice in this dynamic there might be some type of actual justice that plays out in your situation down the road, but at this point, you know, you gotta focus on those two cups that are still standing upright instead of the ones that have spilled over. And yeah, eventually something will happen. Uh, temperance is talking about like the situation that you're leaving behind is 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 still shaking it's still vulnerable it's still volatile you know um there's still things happening and there might be a breakthrough and there might be justice you know but um at this point it's all about your happiness you know so we have the chariot reversed and we have the world reversed. This is like unexpected pathway. Didn't anticipate going down that road in this relationship dynamic. Didn't anticipate having to move in a different direction altogether. But um, the world is full of surprises, different avenues to take, different experiences. And things are just upside down and maybe not playing out the way that you thought it would play out obviously this chapter is trying to close but it can't close completely so that's where you have to take responsibility for this your part and just you know close what you can and move forward with what you can Um, or else you're going to be stuck in this devil energy or this knight of cups reverse which is like emotional letdown you know not feeling like your needs are being met the ten of cups reverse and the queen of swords reverse is kind of like a, a you versus them type energy or uh you know, boundaries within something that you used to feel was your happy ending. Like, you used to really believe in this connection, these people, this person. And now you're holding a knife, getting ready to cut it loose. And you may be cast as, like, the bad guy in this situation, but time will tell. You can't force people to believe what they want to believe. We have the Five of Swords reversed and the Five of Pentacles. That's just like, you know, the worst outcome possible from a conflict or from a breakdown in communication. And uh, where do you go from there? Well, you have to remove yourself from that. Or are you just going to freeze to death on the abandoned doorstep of a closed doorway? You know? 
So that doorway's closed. You've been left out in the cold. Or you had to close the door. And the outcome is beautiful. The outcome is Six of Cups, King of Cups. It's just like you, you have so much bounty and so much enjoyment that can happen in your life. Like there's some other experiences. You can go find your joy with the King of Cups. That's kind of what the message is saying. You know, leave all these reversal cards where they're at. <laughs> all the cards are reversed except for these Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Six of Cups. So, you know, the past has abandoned you, but you can find still find your joy, you know? All right, that's what I've got from the reading. Um, of course, if this resonated with you and you feel like, You know, remember the story isn't over. We don't have closure. We don't have completion. So there could be future outcomes that I'm not picking up on right now. But at this point, that's not the point. At, you know, at this stage, the point is you to get into this King of Cups energy, master your emotions, and um, put yourself into better frequencies, better vibrations, you know? And then you'll have the outcomes play out eventually. Right? Alright, take care and I'll see you again soon.